Oh no! A seller said yes, they might consider selling. What do we do now? What's up everybody, Ricky Kruth here, the first completely free real estate coach. That's at ZeroToDiamond.com. If you're not a member, go there right now, ZeroToDiamond.com, sign up. 90 day action plan, online course, free training, twice a month, right here on my YouTube channel. So while you're at it, go ahead and click that subscribe and hit the bell. I'm providing more value than anyone else on the face of the planet for real estate agents. That's a fact. So today I wanna to get into what happens when you're making your calls, you're following my program, everything's going good, you're circle prospecting, whoever you're talking to, and the seller says, yes, we are considering to sell. I get this question a lot, what do you do when the seller says, yes, we're ready to sell, we're thinking about selling, we might sell in the next six months, yes. What do we say when the seller says yes? We're looking for the yes. We're looking for the no as well, I'll get into that in a minute, but let's talk about the yes for a second because that's the question, that's what this video is about. When the seller says yes, the next thing we need to say is, cool, is there an agent that you're gonna work with on that? Okay, we want to get it out in the open right now. Are we a contender to be their agent or not? Or are we in the running? Maybe they're going to interview several agents. Okay, maybe they don't have an agent at all and we can come in and be that agent, right? Or maybe they have an agent they're completely 100% loyal to, like their mom, their dad their best friend from high school, the person that sold them the house that has been in close contact with them and has done such a good job of maintaining and nurturing that relationship. They could not go with any other agent but the one that sold them the house because they did such a good job probably following the Zero to Diamond coaching program. But we want to establish what's going on there right off the bat. And then based on that answer, we can decide how we want to take this, this situation. Do we want to continue pursuing it? Do we want to be in the runnings? You know, maybe they said they have an agent, but they didn't seem so sure. Maybe we can, you know, it just depends on how you feel about it and if you want to move forward. I do want you to know one thing. Business is 100% unlimited. So you can go get five more deals right now if you're willing to go talk to enough people. Right, so if you're willing to put the work in, it doesn't matter if we get this deal or not, one deal is not gonna make or break us, right? The, the object is, is who talks to the most people. So at the end of the day, remember, conversion is good, but we have to know when to cut our losses on trying to convert so hard and spending so much time converting and move on to more deals, more people that we can help. Because the longer we try to convert, the more people in the future we're saying no to because we're, we're spending that time here instead of there. You gotta find the perfect balance between talking and trying to convert to the people who you feel like will convert or versus talking to new people that you're trying to find out if they want to do something now or later, creating those relationships, putting them in your email database to, to nurture those relationships for later. So there's a lot going on here. However, this is the first question that we ask. Is there an agent that you're going to work with on this deal? Okay, so when we get the answer to that, we're gonna take it whatever way that we can to help move us in the, in the most positive direction to see what we can do to help them. The next thing we wanna find out is why they are selling. This is the biggest part of this video. Why are they selling? Okay, did their mom die, kids go to college, lose a job, get a job, relocating? What's going on with them in their life that's making them you know, decide that they might want to sell? So we wanna go deeper with this, the bigger reason, and when we find that out and we relate to that, we really listen to them, and then we start helping them move towards that bigger goal, right? Then selling the house and listing the house is just a byproduct of us caring about the person instead of the deal. Relationships over transactions. So that's what you do when a seller says yes. Then we're gonna proceed forward with the deal, whatever it is that they need at that time. Maybe it's a CMA. Maybe it's us to meet them at the house to see what we think about it. Maybe it's not, okay? It depends on the situation, okay? So maybe we wanna go have lunch with them and get to know them better, right? Maybe this is a six month down the road deal. Every situation is different. What I don't want you to do is, is follow all the other coaching programs that put real estate agents in a box and says this is the way that you handle every situation. This is the way that you follow up with every situation. How can that be? How can you follow up with every situation and every prospect exactly the same when every single situation is completely different? 
How can you have the same exact process for every single lead if every single lead has a different situation with a different scenario, with a, a different result, different needs? You can't. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing is to teach you that we're gonna handle every situation the way it needs to be handled. There's not a cookie cutter system that, that you can apply to every single prospect. The cookie cutter system that you can apply is finding out what their situation is, why they're selling, you know, the whole nine yards, and then developing a game plan. So at this point, we want to develop a game plan where we're including them in the game plan and us as the agent, and we're developing a game plan where we're the agent, they're the seller, and this is what we're gonna do. So we wanna develop the game plan with them. We're going to meet next week. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna call you tomorrow. We're gonna to do that. We're gonna do a CMA. Let's have lunch. We're Okay, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna see what the market's doing, and then we're gonna list it on this day. Okay, whatever the game plan is, we wanna develop a game plan with the seller where we're involved as the agent, and they're the seller, and we're working together as a team to, to accomplish the goal of the game plan. Now, if they say no, they're not ready, we're gonna follow my script. Is there an agent you would work with if you were to do something? Okay, no, well look, I'm sure at some point in the future you're gonna do something, I would love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes, would it be okay if I stayed in touch? Okay, great, what's your email address? want to collect those email addresses. We want the email addresses for the weekly email, we want the email addresses for Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google remarketing, so on and so on and so on. There's gonna be so many things in the future too that you can use the emails for, we don't even know about yet, right? So don't sleep on the emails, it, it's gonna be the key to everything. It's been the key to everything for me to build my personal brand with my clients and to, to really put myself in a position where I put forth little effort at this point to create huge results and I'm able to make videos like this for you. So that's what you do when a seller says yes, that's what you do when a seller says no. I hope you got a lot out of this video. Put a comment below, this literally came from a comment that somebody wanted to know what to do when the seller said yes. So if there's a video you want me to make, just comment below, let me know. Let me know if you have any questions. You can hit me up on Instagram at Ricky Carruth. I'm answering all the messages there as well. And uh, I want you to get out there and find a seller that says yes. Use what I talked about in this video. And if they say no, use what I said in this video to build your business. Everything's a win-win, you cannot lose. I'm putting you in a position where everything is a win-win. There's no way to lose in real estate if you understand the principles that I'm teaching right here on YouTube, in my coaching program, on Instagram, and everywhere else. My podcast, how many of you are listening to my podcast? Just put a comment below. In, uh, iTunes, SoundCloud, all of them. Stitcher, I'm on all the platforms there, so be sure to check that out. And like I said, I'm here to help you. I'm here to provide more value than anybody else on the planet. Let me know what I can do to help you. We'll talk to you soon.